It has been almost exactly one year since Ida did historic damage to our area. And as we reflect on the flash flooding that stole lives, there are questions about whether a warming climate could lead to more flash flooding in the tri state area. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch shares projections made by climate scientists. Epic rainfall pummeled the earth on September 1st, 2021 at rates that exceeded three inches per hour. Storm totals rose above 10 inches in Manville, New Jersey, over nine on Staten Island. The rainfall rates that came out of Ida were in the 500 to 1,000 year event. Dr. Dave Robinson, New Jersey State climatologist at Rutgers University, describes Ida as a transformative storm. Certainly the case for Doran Smith of Elizabeth. Turned into the Titanic. <laughs> you know, there's water coming in everywhere. I looked outside my apartment. I said, oh my God, we got to go. Smith lived here on the ground floor when Ida hit. The Elizabeth River, running low now under drought conditions, bursted at the seams one year ago. My building was totally underwater, eight feet of water. He and his wife hoisted his handicapped father-in-law up to the second floor to safety. Smith says he then headed back downstairs to rescue his neighbor. And I told him when you open the door, you pull, I push. And he came out floating on the, a body of water. For more than four months, his family lived in a hotel with nothing of their own left. I never knew that could happen. That's the thing. Flash flooding is happening now in places where it hasn't before. We're already seeing more flash flooding and we're seeing greater impact from flash floods. We met Andrew Kuchkevich, a senior researcher at Columbia University in Cypress Hills, Brooklyn, a place he says did not flood before Ida. The projections say that as we move forward in the future, because of climate change, we will see more intense periods of rainfall. Robinson already sees a repetitive pattern. Floyd in 1999, Irene in 2011. But along comes Ida in, in 2021, and they may seem, oh, five, ten years apart in some cases, but that's really unusual. I've never seen a cluster like this. According to the 2020 New Jersey Scientific Report on Climate Change, annual precipitation will increase four to 11 percent by 2050. A flood that occurs every 100 years now by the middle of this century might be something that would occur every 20 or 50 years. It's important to understand your risk to for everybody to think about am I where I live and where I work and where and along my commute. Know if the areas you frequent most flood. Know what you need to do if a flash flood emergency is issued. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.